guys, today I actually have another pet haul for you. I know it hasn't been that long since I actually posted my Petco hamster haul, but I recently went to a local pet store. It's one of my favorites, but for some reason I haven't been there in months. So I did pick up quite a few items, so I thought I would just film another haul. Most of the items I picked up are for my hamsters, but I did get a couple things for Ellie and Steve. I'll show you the things I got for Ellie and Steve first because Steve is down here because he really wants what I got him. So the first thing I got for Ellie and Steve are some of their favorites. These are bully sticks. I got Steve this bully ring. He absolutely loves this. He actually just jumped up on my lap because he wants it so much. He doesn't get these rings very often because they are expensive. I think it was around $8. So it was really expensive, but it is one of his favorites. Like I said, this is by the brand Red Barn, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to him so we won't see him the rest of the video. And then since Ellie isn't as big of a chewer as Steve, I went ahead and got her this smaller bully stick. This is called the Bully Barbell and it is only probably maybe four inches long and it has like two little pieces of bully sticks that are twisted together. So I think she will really enjoy this. I picked up one other item for Ellie and Steve while I was there, which I should be able to show you without being bombarded now that Steve is back behind me busy chewing on his bone. This is actually an item I have never seen before. It's made by the Himalayan brand. They make the Himalayan chews, which are one of Steve's favorites, but these are called Yaki Churros, and this is the cheese flavor. So there are just four of them in here, and they feel like pretty hard bones, but they do have potato starch in them, so they shouldn't be as hard as the regular Yaki bones. They had them in a few different flavors. I just went ahead and picked up the cheese because I know my dogs love cheese everything. So since these were a new treat that I'd never seen before, I thought I would go ahead and test them out, and I'm sure my dogs will love them. So that's everything I picked up for Ellie and Steve. Now I'll move on to the hamster items, which I know is what most of you want to see. I did get one pretty big item, but I'm going to save that until last because it's pretty cool, so I just want to wait on that but the first thing I got is just this KT cage cleaner I usually don't buy these cage cleaners I usually just use like a different water or water and vinegar mix but I thought I would try it out and like I said it was at a local pet store and I haven't been there in a really long time but I do like to support them so I went ahead and thought I would try it out there so I could support them but this is just a non-toxic it says it neutralizes odors leaves no residue so it's just a very basic cage cleaner I got the smaller bottle just in case I don't like it but hopefully I will I think it will be good to use since I have have aquariums now and they're really heavy so I can't maneuver them around as easy as my bins. So that is the first thing I got. Another thing I got that isn't too exciting is I got a new water bottle for my hamsters because one of them that I am using right now for Eduardo doesn't fit on his new um, aquarium very well so I just picked up this. It is once again the KT brand and it's just a clear view. I got the plastic last time I got the glass because I wanted to try it out so I thought I would try the plastic since I've never tried this. And then to go along with that I just picked up the KT water bottle holder so this is not too exciting but hopefully it will be a nice bottle. Even though they really didn't need it I did go ahead and pick up some treats while I was there. I picked up the Sunseed treat. This is the banana coconut trail mix treat. I actually got this because I saw Hopping Hammy actually did a full review video on this treat and it looks like something that my hamster would really like because it has a big variety of different items in here. So since this does have such a big variety I thought it was like getting a ton of treats in one so this will last my hamsters forever because I don't give them that many treats but hopefully they will enjoy this and the last item I picked up I am really excited about because it is by the brand Living World and usually the only place I can find Living World around here is Petland and I hate going to Petland because they sell puppies and they don't take very good care of their animals I actually stopped by there the other day and it was pathetic so I didn't buy anything but the local pet store actually carries some Living World stuff so I was excited when I found this giant tunnel. So this is just called a Chunal. It's a corn husk tunnel and it is really big. I'm not sure if you can tell but I thought this would be perfect. Since I have my new 40 gallon aquariums there is a lot of room to fill up so I thought this would be really fun. I will probably give it to Eduardo. So it just has the tunnel in the front and then there is a hole in the back but you can't hardly see it because all of the corn husk right there and then it goes through the side. So it's like over a foot long. It is really really big and I think it's really cool and it was only like $10 which I thought was a pretty good deal so hopefully my hamsters will like this. So that's everything I picked up at my local pet store. I really like supporting local pet stores when I can 
because it really seems like they care about the animals more than like a lot of the big chains do. So if you have any local stores around you, I would definitely recommend trying them out and seeing what you can find there before you head over to PetSmart and Petco. I definitely don't go to my local store enough because the one I like the most is a little bit further away. The ones really close to me really aren't that great, but I am going to try to make it over there more so I can support them locally. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.